Thanks for watching Tie to Throw. I want to tie a steelhead pattern today for you. So let me start off with what I got in the vise. I have a Daiichi hook shank and I have cut the tip away so I don't sting myself. And I've put a 3.8 millimeter tungsten cone on it. So first thing I'll do is I'll attach my thread. And I have to cover the shank with some thread for the zapper gap to hold. So as you can see, Norvice is perfect for this. Here we go. Because I need to attach a loop of some intruder wire for my hook. So line up the tips, measure it, tie it on there. Yep. So measure the tip, make sure they're lined up. So once you've coated your shank, go ahead and attach your loop of intruder wire. Now make sure it is right the way you want it to and that it's on top. So I like to check, double check, tie it down. Putting some pressure on your thread and then come in with your zapper gap. Now this is strong enough for even the biggest steelhead. There we go. Come in with your botkin. Make sure you coat everything. Now while this is drying, we can uh, already prepare our uh, composite loop. Okay, now for the composite loop, I've already put some ice dubbing down here. And the first thing I'll add is some rubber legs. These are blue. Then I'll add some Rhea. There we go. And some black Rhea in front. The last thing I would like to add is some Lady Amherst. We've done that. I'll take this part of the dubbing, fold it over, and there we have our composite loop. So now we've prepared our composite loop. Let's start tying the fly. I'll start off with a relatively small dubbing loop, twice around, tie it down. I'll put my little dubbing tool in there. A little bit of wax on my thread. I've got some ice dub. Just black ice dub, nothing more. Put it in my loop, spin it. Come in with your botkin again and pick it up. Spin a little more. And come in with your little brush.
There we go. Fold everything back. Tie down. Cut away the dubbing loop. Give it a good brush. I'll tie in a uh, mini ostrich feather that I already prepared. Tied in by the tip underneath. All the way down to the dubbing. Don't have to double back the tip. So enough thread on there. Hackle it. This will provide some color and some extra support for our composite loop later on. Tie it down. Put a 90 degree bend in the stem and secure it. Here's a nice guinea feather. Cut the tip. Snip the sides. Get a nice tying in point. Again, underneath. Trim the tip. I like to run my dubbing brush over the guinea fowl. I'm spreading out the fibers a little bit. Just like before, just hackle it. Nice close wraps. Tie it down. Couple of wraps, 90 degree bend in it. Secure it. There we go. Got the excess. Again, dubbing brush. Brush it all out. And as you can see, we already have a nice firm shoulder. I like to put a half inch on there. I'm gonna tie in some flash. I always like the uh, Gliss and Glow electric blue. Not too much, about three strands. I'll double them over so that makes six. I like to put it on top. Two or three loose wraps. And I can move it around if I want. Double it over. Spread it out. Tie it down. There we go. And you can come in with your scissors and 
cut them to different lengths. So a little bit of flash. Then I'm going to make another loop, this time a bigger dubbing loop. Around two times, tie the loop down. Put my little dubbing tool in there again. A little bit of wax on my thread. Well, maybe more than a little bit. I can pick up my composite loop like this, insert the whole thing, now I can work it so everything is lined up just the way I want it to, and I will snip this bottom part. And with my needle, I can work it. So when I'm done with doing this, I'll spin it. Here we go. You might have some stuff falling out, but there's enough in there. And again, pick out the dubbing with your needle. Take your dubbing brush, comb it out. Make sure we get rid of that excess dubbing. It's not a lot in there, but I want to get rid of it. There we go. Now we can basically just fold it back and heckle it. we go. Put a half hitch on there. And again, run your dubbing needle through it. Pick everything out. So once you've brushed everything out, I like to tie in some uh, very large jungle cocks. I'll tie one on each side. And the thing is, I'll, I'm, I'm tying in right by the tip. That's one. Turn my vise to the other side. Right by the tip. There we go. Now I'll tie in a black marabou because I want it a little bit darker on the front. I'll tie it in with the thick part of the stem first. Take my new nifty hackle pliers. Marabou will add some nice micro movement to the fly as well. And the fly starts to slow down when we enter the gravity water. So 
I always like to put a marabou feather in there. Tie this off. Now all we need to do is to finish the head. I like to do that with some black ice dubbing. I'll just dub it fairly loose on there. I'll comb it out later. For this I like to use my little velcro brush. I'll take your web finisher and finish the fly. The last thing I might do is just add a little bit of a sappy gap right on there. Okay, so here we have the finished fly. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you like our videos and hope to see you next time.